Let us now understand what are the implications of wrong recording. What happens if a revenue expenditure is wrongly recorded as capital expenditure? If revenue expenditure, that means it should have been taken as an expense. Any expense, a revenue, any expense, a revenue expenditure is an expense taken to profit and loss ex account. An expense reduces our profits. So a revenue expenditure should actually reduce our profits. <clears throat> right? Now what is what are we considering here? Revenue expenditure, if it is wrongly recorded as capital expenditure, what is the implication? So it was revenue expenditure, our profit should have come down, but instead we have wrongly taken it as a capital expenditure. Therefore, our net profit is overstated because it should have been taken as an expense, profit should have been reduced, we did not do that. <clears throat> And understatement of assets because we have recorded it as a capital expenditure. So basically what is happening when we take a revenue expenditure and actually record it as a capital expenditure, our assets, our, our profits will go up. And since it's recorded as an asset, our asset will also go up. So let us see. That is overstatement of net profit. So overstatement of net profit, overstatement of assets. Is there an understatement of net profit? Not no. Overstatement of assets is of course correct. Understatement of net, understatement of assets. So our correct answer option is B. So if a revenue expenditure is recorded as a capital expenditure, what happens? If I had taken it as a revenue expenditure, my profit would have come down. Since I did not, my profit is up. Therefore, there is an overstatement of profits first. Second, is it a capital expenditure? No. But have we taken it as a capital expenditure? Yes. That means we have treated it as an asset. It's actually not an asset. So there is an overstatement of assets. Therefore, revenue expenditure wrongly recorded as capital expenditure will result in overstatement of net profit, overstatement of assets. Capital expenditure, if it is wrongly recorded as revenue expenditure will result in. It is actually a capital expenditure. So the asset should have gone up. But since we have taken it as revenue, asset will not go up. There will be an understatement of assets, right? Next, it has been taken as revenue expenditure. If you take it as revenue expenditure, your profit is going to come down. So there is an understatement of profit. There is an understatement of assets. Let's just check that. There will not be an overstatement of profit. We have made a mistake here. Is there an understatement of assets? Yes, there is an understatement of assets. Overstatement of net profit? No. Profit has come down. Is there an overstatement of assets? No. Understatement of net profit? Yes. Because revenue capital has gone as Revenue, so there is an understatement of profits, there is an understatement of assets. This is wrong, therefore, D should be our correct answer. Capital expenditure, when it's wrongly recorded as a revenue expenditure, will result in understatement of net profit because it was not an expense, we have taken it as an expense, therefore, profit has come down. Then we had an asset, but we did not record the asset. Asset is also wrongly recorded, asset shown is less understatement of assets. So this is what happens when we wrongly show a capital expenditure as a revenue expenditure or a revenue expenditure if we wrongly show as capital expenditure. <clears throat>